control problem. And the pimp said, you are our biggest moneymaker. You can't have this baby. They put her down and they began to beat her up and give her alcohol and drugs. This baby's got to die, but the baby wouldn't die. They strapped her down and got a hanger and stuck it up her body and tried to kill this thing, but the baby wouldn't die. They threw her downstairs, stepped on her stomach and said, this baby's got to die, but the baby just would not give in give out it wouldn't die but after all that abuse no prenatal visits no vitamins no doctors the baby's born premature messed up pancreas not working right pneumonia every day ear infections basically retarded goes to school and can't learn. A dead dog. You know what it's like to go to school and I stuttered severely, wet the bed, hit my head against the wall to try to go to sleep. Oh, I couldn't talk, y'all. I tried. I hated the first day of school. Stand up and tell us your name. My, 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 my name. Okay, sit down, baby. Just sit down. Just sit down. So I learned how to cope. They had a poem about me, y'all. They wrote poetry about me during recess. His name is Renardo. He is a retardo. He sits on the steeple. When he talks, he spits at the people. So I learned to shut up. I refuse to talk anymore. They said, he's retarded, he won't talk. Let's put him in the boiler room where he'll finger paint all day. And that's what I did with macaroni people making trains and planes, but no education, no learning, nothing. In Lodabar, bar, crippled mentally, crippled physically, crippled spiritually, because our family was atheistic. Oh, so you, 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 you have a place to come, to be anointed by a great man of God, to hear the word every day, to praise and worship, to give you hope for tomorrow, to hear the word of the living God. I had nothing. And then she had this babysitter who was sadistic. She hated men. And so when she would watch me, her and her minions would drag me to the basement, spread me apart and take a broom as they were drinking and playing pin the tail on the donkey, and I was the donkey. And when you get raped and molested and beat down, you learn four things. Don't talk, don't trust, don't feel, and try to pretend nothing is happening so you can face another day. So by 10... I had enough. If this is what life is like, you can have it. But for every child and every man in the house, there is a zipper who will be sent to find you. Don't you quit living. Don't you give up. God understands the problem. He's going to find somebody to come along your way. And when you can't make it yourself, he'll pick you up and carry you to the master's table. Oh, God sent me a zipper. A teacher in my school who was born again, Holy Ghost field, and she saw her school as her mission field. And she said to the principal, give me the worst of the worst, because I know the best of the best. Give me the ones you don't want. Give me the throwaways. Give me the ADDs. Give me the autistics. Let me have them. Let me take them to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I just have one request. Can I use the Bible? He said, we use whatever you want. So this woman, this teacher named Mrs. Spears, an elderly white woman, came into my life. And she said, son, y y y y y yes, she was from the Sayah. So she had an extra vowel in every word she talked. 
she added an extra vowel so I could be sure to hear her. She said, baby, God don't make no mess, baby. She says, understand now that the person on top of the mountain didn't fall there, baby. You got to climb. She said, can I tell you something? I said, what, 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 what? If you can dedicate yourself to this book and learn and I'll teach you how to talk, you're going to change your whole family. And that's all I cared about. So she had me at hello. So she said, you know what?